after a month of bad plastic that's unofficial, I think it's about time we got to at least one good unofficial toy. Fan Toys Grenadier, today on World of Stuff. But for, th for those of you who have actually been wanting him to be able to stand, there we go. Yay. For those of you who don't know, uh, Grenadier here is the third party offering. One of the, well one of them, of a, a bombshell, one of the Insecticons. They're looking rather spectacular in his rhinoceros beetle mode. And then one of the things that definitely help it out is the fact that on the default legs, it's able to stand on its own. Fans Project G1, they haven't been able to do that. Here, it perfectly able to stand. They do have toy accurate legs, which well, I'll have them laying down normally. But for, th for those of you who have actually been wanting him to be able to stand, there we go. One other interesting Dang. point is that uh, there is weapon storage on Grenadier here. It's right there in the back. You can, uh, if you want. Why not to have it like this? You certainly can. It just kind of pegs in. If you don't, it comes right out. And there you go. Just like that. Now, if as that for accessories, it. obviously he has his three little Energon cubes and his gun. Very nice. Nice and chromey goodness right there. But as I uh, look at these Energon cubes, which are nice by the way, they're very nice extra to include. I'm noticing that they uh, two, notice two issues. The first of which is, well, it'll, he, I imagine this is going to be the same with all three uh, non-insecticons. Is that they have a, is that Grenadier here is having a devil of a time actually holding these things. I did manage to do it once. I had to put it at a very odd angle. It's even stranger trying to get him to hold it with two hands because then it looks like he's just holding a, well, like one of those mini. Uh, mini basketballs so <clears throat> but you do have that as an option but as some of you may have noticed I had something a much more substantial for an Energon cube these I actually made with a little help from a craft store these are the three th three quarter inch uh, cubes primered white and then painted red I would have gone with, with a more traditional pink, but uh, they didn't really have a translucent pink available. Nor did they have a white iridescent or pearlescent, so red it was. Now, so if you Try notice, it this part is chromed. Uh, I imagine time will tell us to, uh, the level up and quality of the chrome itself, but I would at least hope that they... <clears throat> excuse me. Hope that they at least invested a fair amount into the chrome so that it didn't peel off after a couple years. After a decade or so, well, guess we'll have to wait we'll and see. the transformation. I will say that the uh, joints are uh, very tight on mine. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it does mean we have to t use a touch of caution here, so we don't rip this thing apart accidentally. And anyway, we'll start at the back here. We will separate this part right here. Twist. Fold in right there. Uh, yeah, that looks like that and that. Twist this part back, fold out, and fold out that for leg one. Yeah, I don't think Gerbug will catch on. Okay, repeat the process on leg two. Now, one odd thing I will mention about these legs is that there's an extra joint here for a purpose that nobody can seem to discern. Uh, it's this panel right here. It can slide up and down. Nobody's entirely certain what it does yet, if anything. It's possible that uh, when we get all three of them, there might be an idea or... Because it certainly does, doesn't seem to be any any use in insect mode since it... Let's here now. Now because the Diaclone driver would go in there, so why would you have that? Oh, hopefully we'll find out what that's for. Okay, come on to the back here. Ah, kind of already separated on us, but you would separate the arms. Detach the legs from here and rotate upward. Let's see now. 
fold the light the arms out there and move up like this and then uh, you kind of ha have to grab hold of the little yellow part right here and twist forward so that uh, you don't get weird articulation that way well it's a trick as you're not supposed to get anyway we will uh, fold in the leg here and tw twist down okay you do have to fold this part in right here because there's a tab right in there that this the tab that previously connected to the arms will go into like so then you just fold in the other leg like that repeat on the other side actually a little bit easier if you do it like this because then you actually have an anchor point okay well, you theoretically have an anchor point. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay, now we got to get to the head, and we have to undo this part. Sorry about that. Okay, then we will come back... Go back here. Uh, pull this back panel out and separate. Now come to the front here and open up the chest. And then we'll twist around like so. Now, there's a couple options for how you can uh, display this, uh, the horn. Uh, the instructions say you have to, you should do it like this, because, which does make sense because then everything's a bit more cohesive. You can have it up like that if you want. That's really up to you. That's another display option. Anyway, so you're now again, uh, <clears throat> we'll replace these uh, back parts. There, now there's two connection p points on the back of the neck here. Let's see here now. Get those on camera. Mm. No, okay. There we go, right there. You do, uh, connect, they were previously connected to the other half. You just tap those two back in, close up the chest, fold everything back in, and there we go. Grenadier here, here in, in robot, robot mode. mode. We do see a rather imposing figure of the robot version of a bombshell. It was some very nice articulation by the way. You can well get that in a little bit. Uh, well one a couple of notes. Uh, yes I do know that Bad Cube has their own Insecticons out but the reason why I chose uh, the fan toys the head. The Bad Cube uh, version of bombshell the head just doesn't look right to me. Just doesn't do anything for me. This one did a lot to impress me. Although, one thing I should note is that there have been breakages with this mo head mortar here. So you want to be careful with it. Imagine a bit of epoxy or super glue could take care of it, but still. Seeing a, a piece break, a rather, a rather important piece of uh, the, the character break off almost instantaneously in your hand because you're not doing something right. It's just a bad thing. You don't want to do that. Now, as yeah. the most astute of you have noticed, I did opt for the uh, clear chest option. I like that one better than the uh, opaque one right here. Obviously, I also had a repro label uh, Decepticon symbol, which does fit rather nicely there. Now, I did have to screw this out. It was took quite a bit of an effort to do that. Well, that's kind of on me because I kind of used a terrible screwdriver to do that initially anyway. But still, it's an option. As are the uh, difference between the uh, fan toy legs, which as you've already noticed in bug mode and transformation, look like this, which rather beautifully hold up the weight of the toy, or the uh, toy ac and animation accurate legs, which honestly don't do much for me, but still, it's an option. In fact, you can kind of, uh, of the four options you have available for uh, Grenadier here, you can choose exactly how you would like to have it. Four and eight seem like a lot, but it's three more than what you get uh, normally at retail, so take that what you will. Now, as for that articulation, the head does rotate. Again, you want to grab it by the signs. Uh, it's also on a kind of a ball joint, I guess. So it can go up and down a little bit, but obviously uh, the shoulder pylons is limited a little bit. <clears throat> See here now, double joint for the uh, shoulder there, and obviously part of the transformation allows for that. So here now, hinge joint for the upper torso, upper arm, as well as a uh, 
swivel joint upper swivel joint and an upper hinge for the uh, bicep elbow joint so, you know, rotating fist most excellent and uh, clasping hands they don't quite close up as they do in the pictures but he can grasp his weapon enough, well enough he can, you don't have to worry about it the waist kind of swivels it's uh, mine might it's either something with my toy or uh, it's not supposed to do that just two separate pieces so if you can get it to, to do so do so at your own risk there now it's you know a hip articulation uh, <clears throat> swivel joint for the upper hip a hinge joint for the top upper thigh along with a uh, mushroom peg swivel double knee joint so he can at least go uh, full 90 or above depending on uh, your well depending on how you have your uh, bug leg uh, kibble set very nice ankle well I guess uh, cankle tilt would be more the accurate term but he can still uh, tilt his ankles so that's a good thing so you can get him in a fair number of poses there he's not uh, <clears throat> insanely posable but as I remember correctly uh, and it and uh, going by the Transformers Devastation game he, uh, Bombshell is more a matter of looking at intimidating and imposing not so much uh, a kung fu master so you'll have you'll be able to achieve that fairly one easily. last side note on the packaging fan toys indulges in the lost art a styro pack well, that Boy, wraps that up this review. Memories. I am the Deceptive Wolf. This has been Fan Toys Grenadier, and I bid you good night.